right, so I'm just putting it out there. Uh, I know I haven't covered any E3 stuff I was I wanted to, but honestly, there really isn't anything big to be covering for E3, to be honest with you, and like, you know, it is what it is. It's like, is it a bummer to me? Not really, because in the end of the day, I'm going to be playing those games uh, whenever, whatever time they're announced. Uh, and also, as it says here, um, people are going through COVID still. So, it's understandable why these press conferences don't have anything to show. And also, E3 is so different nowadays uh, when it comes to showing off games. Because companies realize, they're like, yo, we can make our own E3. We could literally do our own streams. We could do whatever we want to present it and do it on our own time and people will still come. They finally realize that. Things change, you know? It is what it is. And all levels of gaming experience. Thank you all but, very much. you know, hopefully something uh, there's something for Nintendo. Because I haven't seen anything big for Nintendo in a long time. Smash Bros? And the up throws the on smash, but you know what? But you know what? He's here. We we needed a Tekken character. I I expected um, what was his last name? God damn it. Um, starts with an H. Uh, gosh, I I hate it. But yeah, that's that's lit actually. That's pretty lit. We needed a Tekken character, but damn, man. I didn't I honestly expect him to come through. <gasps> He's just throwing everybody off. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. <sighs> oh, he's in. He's in the game somehow. Still. Hey, Hachi, that's his name. There we go, I remember now. Hey Hachi, I thought Hey Hachi would be the fighter instead of him. I feel like it should be Hey Hachi, because it, it was hinted with Hey Hachi because of uh, Pac Man. He's able to take a sprite of him. No, not the boy Kirby! Kirby's gonna be flying back up. Damn, man. I really want Sora, though. Hello, I'm Masa There's a crouch dash, what? Ten hit combo, wow. Just like Tekken. This view with our first Jin and Kazuya are very iconic to the fighting game scene, so... this He had to be in some collab. He had to, so you know. In these emotional, supernatural tales. Life is strange on the Switch? No? Oh. It is. It's their music. Coming to the Switch, though. That's that's dope. Nice on uh nice on that for that. Still looks good on the Switch. This is gameplay, but it's not final. That's actually pretty good on them. This is literally, there literally is like a recap, but I mean, it's good it's coming on the Switch too, but how, how far are they, how far are they gonna go with the graphical fidelity and the performance on the Switch? Because this doesn't look like it's, this is for the Switch, this is on a next-gen console. Unless the Switch Pro is coming out. Everywhere. A beloved series rolls into its 20th anniversary this year. Donkey Kong? <laughs> Super Monkey Ball! Holy shit! I, 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 I don't know why I said, I said Donkey Kong because I saw the bananas. I didn't realize about the balls because... Because we haven't seen Super Monkey Ball in a hella long time. Literally, these were the days when I used to play 
I played the uh, the one on the GameCube back in 2002. The one the one in 2002. Crazy man. This is so nostalgic. Wow. This is my childhood right here because Super Monkey Ball is actually it was actually a fun game to play. Um, back back when I was younger. I will literally just buy this game just to support this title. Just to support Sega supporting this title. Live it up on five classic boards from the Nintendo Why? Why does the game look incredibly so detailed now? I have a, I have a feeling. And when we say zany, I have a feeling there's gonna be like a Switch Pro or something, and there's gonna be like an upgrade for it. I don't know. Maybe they're just actually is they they did find a way to improve uh the detail within these games for the Switch. They found Yeah, see it's on it's on Switch Lite. It looks very detailed though. On the latest game in the Metroid Prime series, Metroid Prime 4. They still got nothing? They still got nothing? We'd like to introduce another new entry in the Metroid franchise. Still nothing for those Metroid fans. Damn. Shady Nintendo. Wonder what's happening during its development. Oh, so it is. Oh, the, okay. Cause he said, oh, there, there's something else that relates to it. So there is gameplay for it. I misunderstood it. Personally, I'm, I was never a fan of the Metroid series, but I understand why people are big fans. And let's see, let's see what they got. Let's see what they got. I mean, they got something, right? Hope for the Metroid fans. Let me know. Uh, is, is this Metroid Five? Has it always been? Okay, no, no, no. This wasn't Metroid Five. Okay. I was about to say. I was like, this doesn't really look like the the game people wanted. But it actually does look fun. It does look fun. I actually, I'm, I'm digging the combat. Like the animations in, in, in this game are actually well made. And again, the combat looks incredibly fun. There's gonna be more gameplay of it soon too. That's good. Shoot, man! If it ever goes on sale, I'll buy it. Actually, I'll literally buy it. It's a fun game to play on the Switch. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Is this, is this the game people are, were waiting for? I, I, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be ignorant. But damn, been so many years since the last Metroid game, huh? Kingdom Hearts. Get ready to get down <laughs> Just dance, I'm Just dead. Dance game. Yo, if they announce a Kingdom Hearts port on the Switch, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna be freaking out. Even though it's just a port. Oh, coming, coming to the Switch? That's a dub. That's actually a dub. Switch has more games on the library. That, that's what's, that's a, what's important. Even though it doesn't run good, at least there's options of as a consumer where you could buy it at. PC, Switch, or your console, your other consoles. So, so don't give it an L because it's actually pretty good as, for us consumers. It just sucks that the Switch can't barely run on, can't even run on 60 on these third-party games. There's a, there's boss fights in this game. The fairway's almost open. Pauline, God, <laughs> yo, chill, Pauline. What does a chat say about her? Monster Hunter stories again. Yay. I felt like I, I've been seeing this game all year now. I've been literally seeing this game all year. Good job at Capcom for literally... For literally promoting the hell out of this game, right? I mean, that's what they're supposed to do, but damn. Someone who's been covering every Monster Hunter stuff. I I see this. see this everywhere now. Shimigami Tensei 5. Nice. High school student living in Tokyo. Your life is fairly normal. That's good. Farming for the fans. Yo, whoever's been waiting for this... This could be a hype. There should be a release date maybe this year or next year. This game looks really, really polished. 
forced to this find looks so cool command base system finding their weak point is it key. actually looks really really polished this looks something really different compared to these the other shimigami games increase. i mean i haven't personally played all of them i only took a Demons glance and into the other titles the but it does have the same format, but again, it looks super, super polished. Everything looks so different. Nice. That actually looks fun for uh, who are fans of that. We hope you're not afraid of. It's a uh, perfect frame. Fatal frame. There we go. I said perfect frame. It's coming back. It's an actual game. In this horror adventure game. You'll uncover the mysteries surrounding the ethereal but deadly Mount Hikami, believed to be at the center of many disappearances. No, it's actually they bring it back. Your only defense. This has been forever. Cast them out. Face your fears as you explore a variety of unsettling locations. Yo, I'm gonna. This spine chill. I'm gonna get this game. Various protagonists, letting you experience the game from different perspectives. New costumes and photo modes are included in this version. Can you invest? That's so. Ah, uh, yes. And stay alive. Fatal Frame, Maiden of Black Water, creeps onto Nintendo Switch. This is a new title, right? Will be our last announcement of the day. Please take a look. All right. All right, Nintendo. Uh, I sh I shouldn't I, I shouldn't be salty about this because again, like I said, this is expected and obviously COVID has did a whole drastic did a whole drastic change to the gaming industry. Obviously, so it's pretty obvious of why a lot of stuff has actually very slowed down. It just also proves that each day is very very important. Time is very important when you're developing these games. It's not something where they can just make. Game development isn't easy. Everyone just gotta know that. So it makes me makes me really worry for some uh, dev teams that are working on like big titles currently. Like for example, I'm AG wait, producer of the legend. Why am I muted? What you've just seen is a trailer for the first wave of DLC for the Hyrule Warriors: Breath Age of, of Calamity expansion pass. Breath from of the Wild Part Two. Games. Bro, I got goosebumps. I got goosebumps. Finally. This whole direct, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a little bit slow, but. What are they gonna show? Are they actually gonna show game? Kid Icarus? What are you doing here? You saw his arm though? It's like messed up. New Sheikah tools. What in the Mario Odyssey? Again, you're messing up Hyrule Castle. It's going up in the sky. So we're using the same map. We there's gameplay. The game still exists, y'all. Oh god. Next year already? Then again, yeah, they're reusing assets, but So, what did you think? This time around, the setting for the adventure has been expanded to include the skies above Hyrule. Yeah. We'd like to ask you to wait a bit longer. We're aiming for a 2022 release, so I hope you'll look forward to it. Just take time with the game because you never know. Like just... Keep going with it. All right. How was that? That's all for this Nintendo. Well, uh, I guess Nintendo. Had, this this was the most interesting press conference literally Nintendo had, and I'm happy for them. I mean, they they had to show they had to show stuff, you know. I, like, there's the interesting stuff. So Shin Megami Tensei, uh, Metroid, um. Uh, whether it is a side game or not, I couldn't even tell if it was main title or side game. No offense. 
Uh, but literally, um, I enjoyed every step of the way. I really did. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah. And I'm here with Nate Bildorf, who leads our Treehouse team. So, all right. Uh, I thought they were going to announce another surprise, uh, but no. Uh, it was just it was just a little closure for the um, for the presentation. So again, uh, I think this was a solid presentation due to, or at least the better presentation out of all, uh, because there's stuff to look forward to. Um, Fatal Frame, uh, Metroid, uh, the first two D Metroid game after hella years. Um, another one is uh breath of the wild 2 the smash reveal so nintendo did show up nintendo definitely did show up and uh listen it was obviously more entertaining than the other presentations because a lot of them were recaps yes this direct was a recap but honestly it was just you know it is what it is it, that's what this whole e3 uh, was basically about because since there's not much to show um and again you have to understand many of these developers the end the whole industry is under covid policies and just covid in general going through a lot of struggles so honestly and the fact that they're just still working on games just honestly respect to them honestly i feel like they shouldn't even uh be working under intense conditions like this but hey um they're pulling through and actually really like uh really making all these sort of games to look forward to and um and again, if you were disappointed at that, it's completely fine or feel underwhelmed. That's it's okay to feel like that. But again, you have to understand that these people are going through COVID. Uh, everyone's going going through COVID, so a lot of stuff is just being slowed down. Uh, so anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to drop a like and subscribe. Hope to see you guys in the future. I will be posting. So first, I'll be posting my Breath of the Wild two reaction, and then I'll be posting my whole Nintendo Direct um uh reaction so stay tuned for that anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video peace off have a good day and i'm out